Hello and welcome to a Kooky Corner of YouTube where today I have a desk full of little snippets of things. Um, yes, this is usual. I know I can hear you screaming at me, but what's new, Kooky? What's new? You've always got a desk full of something. Well, <laughs> today I've got all the little snippets of things that I have left over. These are not all of them, obviously. <laughs> I'd be lying if I told you that this is all I've got left of my little snippets. I've got a whole huge box full of snippets. Um, but I picked some of these out, especially to show you this little craft that you might be interested in having a go at. And it's making these little um, pin badges, brooches, whatever you want to call them. Um, these I've made out of the leftover bits that I had from um, the kits. If you've been with me for a while, you'll know we've been making some uh, bracelet kits. Uh, I've been making some bracelet kits and, and you very kindly have been buying them um, and having a go at making your own bracelet cuff. Um, obviously, you don't have to buy anything from me, but I, was, I put together some kits for people who actually wanted um, just a selection of things to maybe start with and they um, sold out literally they're all sold out now I will be putting together another set of kits I've got some new ideas <laughs> for anybody who's still in the market for a bracelet kit uh, otherwise grab all the bits that you have I'm sure you have lots of you little magpie wombles you you'll have them everywhere like I do um, so you'll need the tiniest little snippings of fabrics I've got here and these that's way too many I, I always have way too many little bits left over in order to make these um so um yeah so if you want to go and grab some of your things pause me now go and grab a few bits and we'll we'll do this together okay <laughs> hopefully uh, you've come back to me and not I'm not gone off to, to do something else well maybe you did but maybe you'll come back and if you do here I am it's me uh, I'm waffling today I don't know what's the matter with me <laughs> anyway these take the smallest amounts of things and if you've got bits left over from your bracelet kits or from any other crafting thing that you've been doing it's a nice little thing to do so you'll need your bits you'll need some little um do dance and stuff to put on like you can see here there's lots of stitching going on it's another little slow stitching project but it's something that you can do and it, it won't take you forever it's it's even quicker than the bracelets so it's a, it's a nice little thing to do with any leftover bits so the first thing you're going to need is one of these safety pins um they don't do I don't think they do cloth nappies. I don't think many people use cloth, cloth nappies anymore. Let me know if you know uh, people who do still use cloth nappies because these are like nappy pins. <laughs> they remind me of, uh, yes, little nappy pins. But I bought some of these a while back and I thought I, I'll find something to do with those and here I am, found it. Um, so that's the first thing you're going to need. One of those, any size you like, really. Uh, preferably a, a small, not not a huge big one. Although if you wanted a great big brooch, yeah, go for it. But I think this size is kind of a nice size to, to work with and you'll still have enough to play around with. I will measure this for you. This is... Um, it's two inches from end to end. Let's do a metric as well. So it's five centimetres. So it's five centimetre pin. And that's going to be the start of what we're going to do. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is some materials. Um, basically, you'll need a bigger piece of a, a base fabric. You might have some of this left over. It doesn't really matter what colour, but... It's nice to have like a, a toning in with the bits that you've got. So if you have got some base fabric left uh, from the kits or you've got some base fabric that you can use, that is interesting to use. Also, scrappy bits of felt because you're going to need some of it for the middle and obviously some of it to back. I, I always stitch into it because it feels nice and it stiffens. If you're trying to stitch into a very flimsy piece of fabric, you can do it, but it's just easier if you've got a little bit of something behind it to give, you know, a bit of body to it. 
anyway so what you need to do once you've got your pin you need to make yourself a little base pattern um, you decide how big you want it maybe you want a smaller one maybe you want something this size obviously I, I like nice big bright pieces so I've gone for a longer piece that will dangle and this is my pattern I've just literally folded it over and how it goes is you're going to put it on your pin and it sits along this bottom edge hopefully somehow yeah like that uh, decide which way you want to pin it on as well that'll be the different side that you sew but don't worry about it for now so it fits along there like so and folds over and that's the the basis of what we're going to use so decide the length you want it to be snip your piece of paper accordingly and make sure it fits nicely along there and that's your pattern really simple then you need to find a piece of fabric that will fit now I think this is a little bit shorter than what I will actually require but let's stick it on here and we'll cut this one out so yeah it's a little bit shorter but it's still that's that's workable so I'm just going to measure this <laughs> it, starts, it helps if you measure three and a half centimeters so I'm going to position it on here so that I can cut down I'm going to go three and a half centimeters on there grab my ruler out hopefully we can cut this let me put you back on camera I'll push you up so you've got a bit more seeing room I don't know why I put this back in this case <laughs> you'll never get it out again okay so make sure that's lined up properly and it is move all my other bits out of the way and okay I've got this little clover cut on I use this for ages yeah Mm -hmm. I've gone off on a tangent a little bit there, Ryan, but it doesn't really matter. Let's let's try it again from this angle. <laughs> I will still use that bit. That bit will still get used. It's because it's such a small piece of fabric, I think. It's, uh... Okay, that'll do. Right. So I've cut my first piece of fabric, check that it goes over my pin, I'll grab my pin, sorry I'm clattering, I do apologise, I've been a bit noisy today, <laughs> yep perfect, that's great, that fits on there nicely, okay so this is in half and what we're going to need to do is to grab a piece of felt now the middle bit of this it does not matter what color it is I think that might be a little too small that looks to be about right so I'm gonna snip a bit of that off like that I hope that fits in there I think it does come on come on so yeah that goes in the middle obviously to stiffen it up and oh heck might have done that a bit long <laughs> there we go that's it that's how it goes and then that obviously goes over your pin what I'm going to do though first of all I have got one of these fabric glue sticks I use this for quilting but um figured out that this will also work for this just to keep things in place and to stop it from flying around all over I'm going to pop a bit of that on one of those temporary adhesive sticks especially used for quilting so I think that will work very well and I'm going to pop that over the non-fastening side so that's the bit that fastens on 
this bit that's, this is the fiddliest bit once we get this bit on we're away to go maybe it needs to come down a little bit more it's the joy of these it doesn't really matter if you stick it in the wrong place because you can alter it there we go so that is the basis of your your bracelet pin now i need my clips to hold this down so grab a few of these clips and clean it up a bit how are you anyway i hope you are well um the weather here in devon has gone very cold again um sadly but i'm hoping it's going to brighten up for the bank holiday um so that anybody who has a day off can actually have a nice bit of weather i'm lucky i don't have to worry about the holiday times but um it's nice when people have a day off and actually can go out and enjoy it there we go so clips clips i probably need another one i will have another one why not more clips the better i say there so we have got our fabric it is clipped on now what we're going to do or what i'm going to do is to um sew along that top bit there just gives a little channel and i'm going to do it on the with the pin in situ so i'm just going to thread up a needle i'll be back in one sec okay so i've threaded up my needle got some really bright blue i like con contrasting colors you can be as uh, muted as you like but for me it has to be bright <laughs> so i'm going in from the inside of the two you can see i've gone inside there just to hide that end bit what we're going to do is a simple back stitch just to hold this in place it's really simple try not to stab your finger <laughs> the clips you may find annoying i i love the clips because they don't stab me uh, the only problem with the clips is that sometimes your um your cotton like this can get tangled around them a bit but it's a small problem it's not a biggie so and, and out. i won't sing i promise you <laughs> Can you see what I'm doing? I'll bring up my hand a little bit, actually. Let me bring you down a little bit. There we go. You can see what I'm doing. Let's say the, the light in here today, quite dark. <laughs> my window is positioned as such that if you've got beautiful sunlight, then you can't film because it's way too bright. And if it's not beautiful sunshine, then you cast some weird shadows. <laughs> I have not got my lighting system worked out properly yet, but I will. And I've also brought myself a new camera, which I haven't got a handle on yet. But once I get a chance, I will be having a go with that to see if it will improve my videos. Um, not sure if it will or not. <laughs> still got me operating it which where whichever way it goes so um so there we go you can do this a lot neater than me i am um, i try and be neat when i'm doing it myself but when you're doing it in front of a camera sometimes it's a bit it's a bit more slapdash than i would like but anyway so we've got a row stitching to hold that in place and the next thing we're going to do is going to be the fun part i'm going to try and take these out of the way as much as i can let me just leave the one on the bottom there and this is where we get our scraps together i'm going to leave that in because i'm going to use that actually i will just take it back through to the other end so it's going through there Come on, stitch another bit in. Look at this. <laughs> trying, oh, the threads are trying to take over. How rude, threads. How rude. We sorted out. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so 
we have our piece it is attached to our pin and we have to decide which side we're going to use i'm definitely going to use this side it depends on whether you're left or right-handed as to what you when you want to pin it it doesn't really matter um this is a left-handed pin i'm not left-handed by the way but my daughter is and i think she might fancy one of these so i'm going to make it for her so we've got our pin we've got our felt inside we've got the fabric on both sides we've got a little clip holding it together and we have sewn that down one side now i am looking at all my little scraps of thread uh, fa fabric and we're going to decide how we're going to lay it out i found this useful little piece this is a obviously a stitching from something that I've made and pulled apart at some point and I want to use that somehow so I'm going to lay that down um, I have got my scissors here I'll snip snip away at this get myself a nice piece to use along there I'm going to overlap it a little bit and what else have we got here i like this very bright blue you won't need much you'll need about three four pieces tops maybe five at a push a bit of fluff on that one so that is might change my mind in a minute and put some different pieces on but i'm liking the look of these at the moment and what else what else have i got here that i can use Ooh, that's pretty i might use some of that i've got some bits of that though there what about what about a strip of this let me cut some of that off get that cool off and see this is a fun bit you're kind of arranging it so i want that bit there and i want that bit there i kind of want that bit there still want some of my backing to show through um you can cover it all if your backing is not something you're really fussed about i kind of like this i think I think I want to get some kind of different angles on there. There, so that's what I'm going to go with. So let me get rid of all the good little bits out of the way. Now you can do this a couple of ways. You could take a picture of it just so you can remind yourself in case you need to take anything off. I am going to do it a different way because I've got this um, beauty here. So what I'm going to do is just put a dab of this on the back of my fabric just to hold in place so that one was there that one's going up there and this one is in the middle like so and this last a little bit here let's put a dab on there it's going down move it along a bit down there so i've got my things together i've got my pieces together if you want to as well you can pop clips on just to hold these in place a little bit longer and we are going to stitch yes we are let me try and organize that a bit better like that I like that okay so i've got my thread that's still attached and i am going to do running stitches across all of this piece so i'm going to come up there actually i've gone on the wrong side <laughs> okay let me re-thread okay so re-threaded my needle back up there and i'm going to do running stitches all the way along this bits of 
bits of fluff trying to take over. There are always bits of fluff on my desk. I clean it, but then there's always an errant bit of fluff that comes up. See, this is all trying to escape itself. Let's put another clip in there. Hold that down. Those clips are so handy. Don't know what I ever did without them before. Stabbed myself a lot with pins. That's what I did before. <laughs> I'm going to take this to the end. Right, so what we're going to do now is to unify it all like I always do. I'm going to stitch with the same thread backwards and forwards, up and down till I get to the bottom. And then I'll come back and we'll do the next bit. Okay, so if you have sewn along with me, then you will be um, holding a piece like this. It's got running stitches all the way along it. And that's the back of it. I've got a bit of thread stuck in there. <laughs> that's the back. Don't worry about what that looks like because that's going to be covered up with felt. So in the same way that we worked with the pieces on the bracelet, if you haven't seen the bracelet video, go and have a little look and see what we did. So if I bring one in, we took some of the squares and we went in separate ways. We did French knots, we've done shapes, I've done little cross stitches. So now you can now embellish yours with whatever you want. I've got this yellow thread here. That is crying out to go around this blue square here. <laughs> so I'm going to thread that up now and put a knot in the end, like so. And I think instead of going all the way around the edge of it for now, I'm just going to stitch in a little spiral. I'm liking spirals at the minute so let's have a back stitched spiral in this blue square. It's going to come in and back stitch around. And that's just going to go through there. I am at the moment looking for another program to get my teeth into. I finished The Mandalorian um, and I don't watch a lot of TV. I watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> watch an awful lot of YouTube videos um, but I don't watch a lot of actual terrestrial TV as you'd call it. So um, I tend to pick and choose very carefully what I watch because all time is valuable <laughs> and sometimes I like to have something to be doing while I'm watching as well. So this is kind of an ideal thing. I can take little snippets of this and sit on the sofa and sew in the evenings, which is something I quite like to do. Um, I couldn't do it with a Mandalorian because I needed to be actually physically watching it, you know, like really taking notice of it. Uh, but sometimes I like to have something on in the background. But I am now f looking for something that I can physically watch and um, not be occupied doing other things. I find it really hard to sit down and not have something to do with my hands. <laughs> uh, how many of you are the same? Pop me a note in the comments. Tell me if you have the same thing where you find it really hard to just sit. Um, I was like this on holiday. I had to, as, as you know, if you've been with me for a while, you know, I've been on holiday and I had to, um, I had to take some things with me so that I could continue. <laughs> well, cause I can't just sit and sunbathe. I'm not a sunbather per se. Um, I will sit in the sun, but I'm not what you call, um, a rotisserie chicken <laughs> in the sun. <laughs> I have to uh, have to have something to do either reading or creating. Okay, so that is done. It's not the best spiral I've ever stitched, but I'm going rather quickly just to show you what I do. I'll show you a better one now. Look, see, I can do proper spirals. <laughs> but anything, you could just add anything into this. I am going to now get some of that yellow again. 
grab some more of that these by the way are the dmc cotton pearls um i think it's a number eight i'm not sure and it is a great a great thread stitch with also the uh, stranded cottons also work as well but i've got a whole bunch of these this is where i'm not going to be able to thread there we go there we go i've got a whole bunch of these in different colors and i love them they don't come apart you don't have to try and separate the threads out so it's quite nice so around each of these square bits now i am going to secure them down with uh, an overstitch so going in coming out coming up don't worry about all these little threads they'll sort themselves out eventually and i just kind of just pull them off as i'm going if they start to thread a bit and they don't really cause much problem once you've got them all couched down like this it's all good so I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to say to you go and pick out your threads that you want to go around each of your pieces and then sew around them all and then come back okay so I have stitched around each of my squares um, and now I'm going to decide where I want my extra bits to go so I've cut out a little felt green felt heart and I think that will sit quite nicely there I've also got some of this little piece of this glitter fabric which I love so much <laughs> and do actually adore the glitter fabric a lot um, and I've got this little pink button that I would like to go on here also so trying to decide where these are going to sit so that's going to go there want that to be there and that's going there next to the spiral i think something like that now i might actually stick a sequin in here as well you can be as extra as you want to be <laughs> i as you no, no, it's very, I am very extra. So I'm just sticking two sequins in there. And I think I quite like that. So my next plan is um, with these tiny bits of, um, of glitter fabric, I've got this felt and foam tacky glue, which I swear by. And I'm just going to coat the back of this with some of that fairly liberally, taking it up the edges and then that's just going to go on there sit there you can stitch it on it's possible to stitch on i have stitched bigger pieces on but when you're dealing with small pieces like this um that's kind of the best way to go now you could if you wanted to clip that uh it will hold it's pretty good at sticking straight down um and just staying there so that will just dry off so now I'm just going to stitch on my button, go around my heart shape and get these two sequins on there. So you pick out the bits that you want to go onto yours and I'll join you back here in a moment. Okay, back again. <laughs> I have stitched down all the things I want on there. I have also found a little bit of this beautiful pom-pom um, trimming that goes on the bottom. So that's what it's looking like at the minute and now to finish it off so we want to hide all the stitching on the back so I've cut myself a piece of felt that will cover the back of this and I just want to try and make sure it's going to fit without hanging over so I think that is good to go and it does have a little bit of stretch to it so I'm going to get my clips again and I'm going to clip it on the back try and make sure it goes right to the edge of my piece like a so and then again on the bottom bit Oh, 
on the bottom, I mean on the other side. <laughs> on the other side, more clips. All the clips. <laughs> and over. Okay. Cool, there we go. Ooh, I better stick that inside. What I need to do is to make sure that that is not being pulled off to one side so let's clip that in there we go now the next thing i'm going to do is um you can do one of two ways you can do a stab stitch which ends up with this is a better one to show you that one something like that it's a little messier you want it to be a little neater then you can go with a blanket stitch and that's what i'm going to go with on this one i'm not going to do my blanket stitch around the bottom edge because i've got some tassel there so i'm just going to do both sides so I've got to decide what color i'm going to do and uh, i think i'm going to go with this very 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 bright orange so let me get myself a length of a very bright orange thread somewhere on this mess of a desk i have a needle <laughs> it's a very small thing but it, it takes up quite a few pieces as you can see <laughs> all my threads i love these so much and you know i like bright colors so now you can do your brooch in a much more muted way um <laughs> i just throw all the colors everything at it that is my style obviously you can alter this and adapt this to however you want your piece to look actually i'm going to start at the other side i think i'm going to start here with a blanket stitch so i'm going to try and take it up to the top through the middle there and start with my blanket stitch so however you choose to finish yours off whichever stitch you use then i'm going to take in all the backing and that front piece as well this will give this much more um stiffness to your finished brooch because you've now got two pieces of uh, material and two pieces of uh, felt you've got the one bit in the middle and then you've also got the bit that goes on the back i'll show you in a second so i'm going to blanket stitch all the way around go through make sure it's wrapped around and pull the clips get in the way for a while but once we've got half of this done we'll we'll be able to take some of these clips off and let me just show you the back of that now so you've got the back there so you can see it's a little bit neater than the stab stitch and i'm going to a blanket stitch all the way around uh, actually no i'm not going to go across that i'm just going to go down to the bottom fasten off and then go up to the top and then i'll show you how we finish off the backing bits there okay so down both sides and then i'll be back again okay so by now you should have stitched around your piece if there are bits like i had at the bottom there that you don't want to do the blanket stitch on then just do a stab stitch along the bottom also along that top edge there you're just taking in a little bit of the fabric you're not going through to the front on those stabby stitches you're just taking in a little bit of the fabric just to finish off Oop. <laughs> throw it all over the table and there it is finished and you've got a nice little um pin brooch these look great on denim jackets have to say and i've got um an idea to put one of, of the, these on mine or maybe all of them <laughs> who knows <laughs> told you i was extra um yeah so make sure that your pin goes the way you want it to fasten it doesn't really matter if you make sure you know if you pin on that way or if you pin on that way it doesn't really matter one way or the other um if you didn't want to make a brooch or a pin you could just do this in the same way instead of stitching it onto um a safety pin you could just put it on the front of a greetings card that'd be really nice you could put it um in a frame if you wanted to frame it to be a small piece of beauteous brightness <laughs> um, 
obviously depending on which fabrics you use you could do natural fabrics that would work beautifully well with some wooden bottoms and um some twine or whatever curled round or yeah whatever you fancy have fun with this because i certainly am having fun with it i'm going to make a few more of these and um yeah i'm i'm gonna try all the different colors that i've got left out of the bracelet kits <laughs> so i'm going to be making quite a few i think anyway have a great day i will see you very soon uh, the next thing that's coming up i think i'm going to be doing the journal cover tutorial um because i need to get that done and also we have our little felty owl at some point to be making so those things will be coming up shortly um if anybody's still wanting bracelet kits leave me a message down below i i've got ideas for some more another another round of bracelet kits so if you're interested um let me know down below and i will get on to that <laughs> Also, if you're enjoying the, um, the channel or if you're enjoying what I'm making, don't forget, show me your thumbs. It's a like and subscribe moment. Um, if you show me your thumbs and do me a like, that's great. And if you also subscribe as well, it does the channel no end of good. I have to say, absolutely, really, really gives me a good, a good feeling inside. <laughs> Makes my heart sing. Anyway, have a great day. I will see you soon. Hope you get some really nice weather to enjoy and to sit and stitch in. Bye for now.